The common beech tree, Fagus fatica, is a very familiar sight in the countryside. They're not actually native to Scotland, but they were widely planted, particularly in Victorian times. Competition between and within species is a very common feature of both animals and plants. However, particularly in trees, it happens extremely slowly and often is almost unnoticed. Beech trees mature between 80 and 150 years after being planted. They may live up to 400 years and they flower roughly once every three to five years, often what's called a mast year, where very large numbers of seeds are produced. In the lifetime of a beech tree, it may produce up to 1.8 million seeds, of which only one or two would be expected to reach maturity. Some seeds will fail to germinate. Others will land in an area that's unsuitable for their growth. Still others may be eaten in large numbers when they are still as a seed, as in when pigs are put out to pasture in the woodland. Many are eaten when they're saplings by deer and by rabbits. A major constraint on growth is the lack of light. In a true beech woodland, only about 3% of the light reaches the ground. Much of that is, a, is the green light. You can age a young beech tree by using the bud scale scars. If you look along a young branch, you can see these wrinkles or scales, and those represent where the bud used to be. So if you count them, you can work out an estimate of how old the, this young tree would be without damaging it. You might expect a, a young sapling, maybe only half, half a meter high, to be maybe only a year or two in age. But if you do the bud scale count, even in this mixed woodland, you find that these trees are actually more like 10 years of age. If they were in the open, they would be over three meters in height. In one experiment, in a totally beech dominated woodland, it was found that these half meter high trees were actually nearly 80 years old. They were simply biding their time, waiting for the trees around them, the mature trees to die, to have a chance to compete, to get to the light and reach maturity. This lack of light is a serious constraint. However, however, there is a system that aids these young saplings, and that is known as the wood wide web. This is where the roots of the mother trees interconnect with those of the saplings. There's also a fungal connection through mycorrhiza, that is the mycelium of the fungi, and both of these supply nutrients to the young saplings, aiding them in their struggle to reach maturity. A physical feature of these young saplings is they have a very small crown, but they have a widespread branching system, which is as many leaves as possible to catch the light that there is there. Also, the leaves contain a larger amount of chlorophyll to help capture the low levels of light. This all changes when the tree starts to grow upwards. One of the first features is of a large swelling buds, and these are very tempting um, to the deer to other grazers. A feature of beech, oak and hornbeam woodlands is that in the winter time the young saplings which are heading upwards towards the light retain the dead leaves. Part of the purpose of this is to try and discourage grazers who don't like to eat the dry material of the leaf. This phenomenon is known as marquescence and can be seen in parks and gardens which have beech hedges. The leaves are only retained to a height to which a grazer could reach. 